Hello everybody, my name is Connor, and today we are reacting to The Promise Neverland, Season 1, Episode 4. Um, last episode was really good, and I wasn't gonna watch this episode now, but last episode was, like, really good and, like, got me, like, feeling some kind of way, so now I am ready to watch the next episode. So, okay, let me pull up the notes from last episode, talk about that a little bit, and then get into the this episode. So, so last episode, last episode, we were introduced to Sister Crane, Crone. Um, she is new, she's fast, and she knows how to find gifts and tag, that's something. We found that they have track chips behind their ears, and the year is possibly 2045. Also, the, um, Emma, Norman, and Ray are teaching the kids escape tactics to, like, get good at tag, because if they get good at tag, they can get good at running away. And if they get good at running away, they can get good at escaping, and those are escape tactics. So how to get faster while running, how to jump, how to hide, how to track, not track, uh, it also how to, like, look at people, like, foot footprints to, like, see where your enemies go. Also, to clear your own footprints and make fake footprints. And also, there might be a possible traitor. We're taking the girl with the glasses. You know, that girl who's 10. Uh, I don't know her name, but she's a possible traitor uh, suspect. So, yeah. If you like this reaction, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and comment down, what you, down below what you think about this episode. Uh, I want to talk to you people about this episode and previous episodes. Um, try to keep the information on future episodes kind of minimum. Try to keep it spoiler-free, uh, if you would. Okay, so yeah, also check out the links down below, including my Patreon for full and cut reactions, and my social medias would include my Instagram and Twitter. Go check those out for updates on my channel. So yeah, let's get right into this reaction. I'm super excited, and yeah, let's get into it. Episode 4 of The Promise Neverland. Animation! <laughs> <sighs> Why don't you just kill Sister Crone and Mom while they sleep, and then y'all can escape easily? It's a suggestion. Are y'all packing? Getting ready to escape? <gasps> Ugh. You just killed your child. Hmm. She's watching out. Okay, so they all got their group. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we think it's her. I wonder what kids aren't gonna make it, because I don't think all these kids are gonna make it. If they kill off one kid, I feel like they could kill off other ones. Who's watching? Who's walking? Is this a traitor? Is it one of Emma Ray or Norman? Is it um, Sister Crone? Maybe Mom? Connie? I'm kidding. <laughs> it's you. <gasps> you told them. She's told them. Why did that just break my heart? Why did that break my heart? <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing, Gilda? Girl. Uh. So it's not Gilda, it was Dawn, because Norman told Dawn it was under, it was under Norman's bed. Okay, so she's not the trick. This show is giving me all kinds of mixed feelings. But now mom knows about. Oh, 
No. Don't touch her. Oh, okay. Smart move. Mm -hmm. Don told her that the rope is under the bed, Norman's bed. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm the rope's still there in the second bay uh, ceiling of the second floor. But it's probably not under your bed, is it? It's gone. It is done. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. That's what we didn't see Dylan do it. I thought it was because they tried to throw us off because of Gilda. But no, it was because it's right. <laughs> the show is throwing me for all kinds of loops and I'm not appreciating it. Promise Neverland, you hear me? I'm not appreciating this. I'm loving it, okay? What am I saying? So raise the trader. How? Why? Why? Why, Amajiki? Why you do this to me? <laughs> my lord, I trusted you with all my heart and all my soul. How? Okay, now I want to watch the next episode. This show is killing me. Where I need to, I need to watch the next episode to realize why Ray traitor betrayed us. Because he only told that to Ray. He didn't tell it to Don. I get it now. He only told it to Ray because, because if he told it to Don and then he told it to Gilda. They told Gilda it was in the ceiling, and they told Don it was under the bed. But he didn't tell Don it was under the bed. He only told Ray that, but he told Ray that he told Don that. So Don can throw, Ray can throw Don under the bus. And he didn't throw Gilda under the bus, but he threw Ray under the bus. I meant he threw Don under the bus, Ray did. But why is Ray doing that? I really want to know what Ray's intentions are. Is it because he was promised a free, um, chance to live? Maybe. Maybe that's why he did it. So yeah, so I'm gonna start from the beginning of the episode. They're now learning to play tag in groups so they can escape as groups because if a kid just runs and manages to escape by themselves, they're not gonna be able to make it out alive. We know that's a fact. If a little three-year-old runs to the wilderness and has to survive by themselves, they honestly won't do it, especially like a two-year-old or a baby, no. Um, so yeah, and they want to escape in 10 days. Ray thought it was crazy. Norman wanted to do it and Emma was iffy about it saying, I mean, we can, but why? Because we have a month and a half. Um, so there's that. So Don and Gilda, they like put Don and Gilda up to a test. They told Don and Gilda, we both, I was suspecting them to be traitors, so they put Don and Gilda up to a test. Norman said he told, Norman told Ray that he told Gilda was in the ceiling and Ray and Don under the bed. They checked the bed, it wasn't there. Somebody slipped a note to the mom saying it was under the bed. Turns out it was Ray being a little snitch. So, good job, Ray. You're a snitch. Why did you do it? I'm waiting for your response. I don't hear a response, Ray. Are you, are you going to tell me or? <laughs> but yeah. And Gilda is being interrogated right now by Sister Crone. Um, and she's like, it's nothing. Don't worry. There's nothing. And Sister Crone's like, so Emma told you, didn't she? And I'm over here like, Emma's over here like, and <laughs> Gilda's over here like, 
Uh, and then I'm over here like, no, oh, save her. But she played it off saying that Emma and her just got in a fight, so it worked. Good job. You did good. Yoda, we're proud of you. And Dawn, sorry for not, um, sorry for doubting you. Sorry for doubting you. And sorry, Gilda, for doubting you, too, because I kind of doubted you, too. But, yeah, that's Promise Neverland Season 1, Episode 4, which is absolutely crazy, and now I want to scream. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You should hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below what you think about this episode. Uh, check out the links down below, including my Patreon for full uncut reactions, and my Instagram and Twitter to check for updates for the channel. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and make sure to hit that notification button to see when I post next. Bye!